you put your time in for um, two to three, four months and this guy completely embarrasses you, doesn't like you anymore, gaslights you, um, is emotionally a terrorist toward you. Welcome back to another vlog. I woke up about 45 minutes ago and I was laying in bed. So I'm still looking a little tired. So I'm going to get refreshed in the shower. I'm going to straighten my curls out. Um, I'm ready for straight head again, okay? I'm doing a nice little makeup look that I used to do all the time about a year ago because that was when the summer time, it was warmer weather, okay? So yeah, I'm excited to actually do that being that I wear the mask all the time. Yeah, and I'll be back to get this head together. So yeah, I'll be back to do that. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, I'm putting up this. I used to use this a long time ago. And you guys, so I got out the shower. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. So anyway, you guys, I'm watching this show. And I'm pretty much finished with it, but I'm into a new one now. The new show that I'm a, I'm going to start watching, I started watching like a few seconds of it. It's called The Woman in the House Across the Street from the Girl in the Window. I was watching that movie called The Tender So Windler, honey. I see a lot of women like all over the internet, you know, making jokes and talking about the women who were gaslighted, taken advantage of. Now, going into that part, I see a lot of, you know, people talking about that. And yes, you guys, if you are meeting somebody who is super, super, super rich, they have billionaire parents with um, billionaire status, if they're asking for money, that's a red flag. That is a big, huge red flag. So yeah, so I understand those part where people are kind of cracking jokes, you know, they're giving like their insight on that. But anybody who has money that needs to ask you for money and then saying that they have security issues in breach, you're not the president. Why would you need security? Okay, for the business that you run or your parents run, um, if that person doesn't have the money, and they come to you for the money and you don't have it, that is not a sign because you can get a loan that you can help them. And into that, I'm like, wait a second. Loans? I, I remember getting like those $300 loans or I think the most I've borrowed on a payday loan that I was allowed to get was like $5,000. But I was getting it for myself, you know. Were they able to borrow these, you know, 20000 and 15000 when some of them said they were even living with their mom. I think one lady said she was living with their mom. This is crazy. It, definitely, you know, the red flags. Don't do it. We, we all have been in love before. Gaslit, you know, emotionally wise. Um, Slept with that person and it, the relationship goes nowhere that you thought that it would. And so for these women, they did it all but more. They were less than smart to be doing what they did with this guy. He has many names. The guy of many names. And he's back on Tinder. He's back billionaire, whatever status, however he's rolling. He's still on there. He has a girlfriend. And um, let me know in the comments, do you guys still think that he's swindling uh, people or you think he tried to set up like a leg legitimate business? Because that's what they're saying. Obviously, you guys, I can't not curl my hair and talk at the same time, huh? You know, she probably was really in love. And maybe she, yeah, because she was next to money, she thought she was going to be like, she was going to have the... The dream, the dream life, you know, you guys have been in love before. You may not have been swindled out of money, but you've been swindled out of, you know, feelings, time spent, um, you know, gaslit, lies, um, to see that some women are fell for just complete lies, you know, and also their blinders were up. They were not being smart. They weren't, they were not making sure to take their time. And I was very, it was very odd. One lady actually slept with him on the first date. They were on the jet, you know, went to a expensive hotel, had um, had coffee and dinner or something like that. Um, he was buying everything off the menu. Like when he goes to these restaurants, this guy orders everything off the menu. That is not something odd to do, but 
in his case, <laughs> he's like, he was over the top. You put your time in for um, two to three, four months and this guy completely embarrasses you, doesn't like you anymore, gaslights you, um, is emotionally a terrorist toward you. And so, yeah, everybody can experience that, maybe not with money wise. And so um, it's just a lesson to be learned. I think for all of us too, as viewers on the outside looking in, very much a um, a lesson to be learned. So yeah, you guys, you guys have to watch it. Um, I know I'm rambling. All right, so I'm going to call it From Shabby to Sleep. So I am going to use this Lancome. It's in Defense Sunscreen Moisturizer Primer All in One. Are you me? My skin is looking a little bit better this week. My skin has been going through it, um, especially ever since I popped this pimple, and it seems to not want to go away. So I have a permanent little. So I have this permanent mark there until hopefully I can do a skin peel. I'm going to go on with one more primer. I'm going with the Laura Mercier um, Pure Canvas Primer. This is the Illuminating, um, the one that always spills out on me. I'm putting on this cover FX. It's a luminous tinted moisturizer, okay? And this is in the color tan. And it looks exactly how the bottle looks. So that's one thing I love about it. So we're gonna put this on. I'm gonna pay more attention to this area. Here. And here. And I'm going to just, um, I'm going to just like rub this in. Oh my God, this looks so good. Ooh, look at that, you guys. Ooh, cover right first. I haven't used this in a while. Okay, I'm gonna put on a little bit of Rare Beauty. This is in the color Grateful. I'm just gonna do one dab, and then I'm gonna blend it out and then see how I'm feeling it. I'm just gonna pat it out. All right, so let me go into the brow pin. One thing about this, you guys, it starts off like so sharpie like the consistency and then so that's why i start in the back with it brush it in and then i go into the front it kind of has that real hair type of stroked look but um because i don't have a lot of eyebrow that's why i like to overdo it that's why i kind of exaggerate the hairs because i don't have a lot of eyebrow so i kind of like that like give me some brow like if i'm going to do a fake brow give me some fullness Okay, so now this brow, let's go some more in the back, build her up. I didn't know that when I bought this kit, it was the Anastasia Brow Kits. I didn't know these smaller sizes were in there. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, I was kind of disappointed. I was like, I might as well just spent $20 and just got the regular size one of these alone because I already had brow gel. I just thought that I was getting another one, but yeah. I don't, I don't like that it's a $29 value and it's all these small things. I guess it's okay, 
but I really was expecting it to be bigger. But I thought it was too good to be true because everything like the brow gel, the brow definer, the brow pen, they're all like $20 or so. So I was surprised. I thought I'm getting a deal like, oh, $29. No, they were all small. So if you guys are looking at these, these are the other brow pen I believe is bigger than this because I actually had it. Um, didn't have any more in it, so I threw it away. But it, I, I measured them and said, wow, this is actually smaller than that one. So yeah, I was kind of irritated that I didn't pay attention. It was my foot. I didn't pay attention when I was purchasing. These are the Ardell Naked Lashes. They have that seamless band on them, actually. And I actually did a little shorts video talking about this um, because I thought they were so cool, like the way that they are shaped. Like, see them the way that they're shaped. They're so cute. Putting on this Maybelline Sky High. Just a few coats. I'm just gonna lightly put some at the bottom, not a lot. Just kind of give it a bold look. I'm, and I'm doing it more toward the back here, you guys. All right, y'all, look at the lashes. I think I like these ones a lot more because they have like this super, they, they don't, even if I come closer, can you see them? See, they have like this curl in this like middle area. That's what I like about them. Then they're kind of short. They're a little shorter on the end, but they still have length. But in the middle, they're really, really curly and long. And then right here, very subtle. I really do prefer this look most days. Okay, can't lie. Love a beat face. Love to be beat down to the gourds. Okay, um, but I noticed that lately I've been more into, okay, let me throw on this and then I'll make a super bold eye. I like this. I like this. Okay, so um, I was going to do a little. I don't even think I really want any highlights. I'm actually going to use the Jaclyn Hill, um, the Flare Highlighter Palette. So I think I'm going to go with this color, maybe some of this. Ooh, this is a big old thick palette. Nice. Start at the forehead first with a nice little glow. And then on the nose. Yeah. I don't want a lot. Just a little bit just to give a nice little inner glow. Look, you know, not a lot. I think I take a little bit of the lighter one too and put it here. I do not even want that much. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling the little highlight. I didn't want too much highlight. I want to still kind of give me natural. Okay. All right. Doing a little bit more of a Dominique's hydrating spray. The Radiant by NYX. I'm going spray a little bit of that too. And I think I'm going to take the NYX. Uh, this is in the color Vanilla Cream Pie. And my... Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I told you guys it has hyaluronic acid. I think I always tell you guys that. Um, so, really good on smoothing the lines in your lips. Okay, so y'all, I'm going to do this one. It's a little pinky. It's kind of go in the middle with it. A tiny bit. Just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to use this um, Rimmel. This is called the Stay Glossy. Um, it's an up to six hour shine lip gloss. I don't know about that, but we're going to still use it, okay? Ooh, it does give a good shine. That mixed with the um, Lifter Gloss. Nice natural-ish look. I really actually like this. I have flyaways. I need to fix them. This nice naturalish looking, and um, yeah, you guys, if you guys can try this, the Cover FX Luminous Tinted Moisturizer, so good. I think I started to forget about them because I usually use them when it starts to get a little more warm, 
where you can wear less makeup. And so now, yes, it's getting super warm near my home. So today it's about like 73. Yesterday was like 81. Before that was in the 80s too. So it's been a little bit better weather. So that's when I break up my look, my Lancome and my Cover FX. These are a good pair together. And um, I don't even have to put on a lot of makeup. Just kind of keep it like skin like, okay? So, all right, guys, I'm gonna see you guys a little bit later. Peace. All right, guys, we are at the beach. <laughs> 